I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Son of a bitch! You done messed up, A.A. Ron! During the past several years, we have seen time and time again historical figures being race and genders swapped in movies or documentaries. We have seen British queens and kings being portrayed as black in different movie series with no explanation for this race swap. We have a Viking man who is now a black woman, and most recently we have had the whole Cleopatra fiasco where they made her black while enraging the whole country of Egypt. Each time they did these race and gender swaps, people have rejected the changes. There was a lot of backlash and insults thrown toward fans by the showrunners. Personally, I never really understood why they insist in changing history. Why they take characters who have a proven race and make them black instead of making a good story based on African culture. Maybe they are hoping that by gaslighting the fans, they will watch their shows, but the recent failure of these shows and documentaries proved that this was not the case. In one of my recent videos, I have made a clip about the newest Assassin's Creed game where the main character is a black samurai in a game which Ubisoft says is based on historical facts. Since my first video, a lot of new information came to light about this so-called first black samurai, and to nobody's surprise, a lot of the information on which this game is based on seems to be either false or modified to fit the narrative. The historical information on which this game is based is from a Nihon University associate professor called Thomas Lockley, who wrote a book in 2019 in which he claimed that Yasuke was actually the first black samurai, and not just a squire or a sword carrier for an actual real samurai, as the history states. And as the backlash for this game increased, Nihon University has launched an investigation either the so-called historian and eventually deleted any association with him from their university. I'm guessing they found out some information where he modified historical facts and they do not want to be associated with him anymore. Thomas Lockley, in the meantime, has deleted all his social media presence and is currently hiding. He initially appeared on a podcast from Ubisoft for the Assassin's Creed Shadows game, and he was referred to as the primary authority, claiming that Yasuke was a samurai. Later on, it was discovered that he used a different name to edit Wikipedia and Britannica to promote his own books and papers. There are a lot of lunatics who support these lies over the social media, and the most pathetic one was the scandal surrounding an image showing a black samurai, which they were suggesting that it was an actual picture of Yasuke and his family. But this lie was exposed very quickly when people proved that this was an AI-generated image showing a generic black man dressed as a samurai. Needless to say that Yasuke lived before photography was even invented, so either he not only was the first black samurai, but he also invented photography and made the first selfie ever recorded in history. But joking aside, Ubisoft seems oblivious to the backlash from the fan base. not only that they have not issued any apology for portraying false history in their game by insisting that Yasuke was indeed the first black samurai and saved Japan and the Japanese people from evil forces, but they are now also pushing forward into making him gay as well. In the meantime, the backlash increased into what could become a diplomatic incident. Apparently, the Ministry of Culture and Foreign Affairs received different petitions and letters on this topic from the Japanese citizens, in which they asked them to take action against this attempt to change their history. While the government have not taken action yet, they are waiting for final release of the game to decide, and there is mounting pressure in Japan to address the issue with Ubisoft, portraying false information to Japanese children. One of the questions sent to Japan's Ministry Culture and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was the following. If it were a game made by a private company, there would be no need to be so concerned, but it has been announced that it was based on Japanese historical facts. And if this goes viral, 
people all over the world will start to believe this fact. And I agree with them 100% on this. One of the characters in the game will be Oda Nobunaga, who was indeed a Japanese ruler in feudal Japan and is considered the great unifier of Japan. This is a well-respected historical figures in the Japanese history, and we have movies and series like Shogun, which were made based on this character. Both the movie and the series show the proper respect to this historical figure. But the most worrying information we have is that Ubisoft has already announced that Yasuke will be gay, and he will be able to romance several characters from the game, and Oda Nobunaga seems to be one of these characters. Imagine having one of the most respected historical figures in your history, the man who is praised as the great unifier of your country, being seen doing gay stuff with a black samurai in feudal Japan. Obviously, since the game has not been released yet, we have no way of knowing whether this will happen or not. But since Ubisoft hired a Japanese historical expert called Sachi Schmidt Hori, who is an expert in these so-called gender studies, and she's always talking about romantic relationships between old men and young boys, there are high chances to see Yasuke and Oda Nobunaga doing the proverbial beast with two backs in the game. And if that will happen, I fear that the outrage from the Japanese people will reach the outer limits of our solar system. This game is scheduled to be released on November 15th, but in my opinion, it is already dead before arrival. From the false historical information about Yasuke to the blunders done by Ubisoft, where they disrespected the Japanese over and over again, either by using the flag of a Japanese historical reenactment group without their permission, or buying items from Amazon and portraying them as genuine Japanese historical items. This has been a continuous clusterfuck. And with so much negativity surrounding this topic, with the Japanese people pushing back, alongside with the Western gamers who already rejected this game, Ubisoft is looking at a huge failure in November. Whether Ubisoft will do some damage control and try some last-minute changes, only time will tell. But since we already see some information about a musical which will be made about Yasuke, obviously directed by a diverse woman, I guarantee that it will not be long until we will see Hollywood making a live-action movie about this so-called First Black Samurai, where he saves Japan against some evil white invaders. It might sound far-fetched right now, but this is indeed in line with Hollywood's modus operandi these days. But if they will do indeed make this movie, I imagine it will perform as good as this American society abomination. Personally, I would have loved an Assassin's Creed game where you play as a ninja, battling samurais, completing missions, and diving deep into feudal Japan. But as things progress, I don't think I will be buying this game. With so much backlog in my game's library, I would rather play Assassin's Creed Mirage or any of the other games in my library. And if Ubisoft will continue to make these games for this imaginary modern gaming audience, they will find themselves on a downward spiral to the bottom from which there will be no return. Thanks for tuning in. Grab your katana and ninja stars and let's move on to our next mission. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and consider dropping a super thanks to support our little channel. Thanks, and I will see you all in the next video.